Who the fuck did this? I don't have anything valuable. Money. They must have stolen the money. Money. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. My house. Um. What am I supposed to do now? <sighs> fuck! My bed. Oh, yeah, that shitloads of money that I had. Great. Yeah. There it That's is. all I need. It's gone. <laughs> My rainy day fund! Ooh, what if it was Red Pete? Okay. Ugh. I'm gonna have to report this to the police. Christ. Why did the neighbors not report anything? Yeah. I'm calling Stephen. Stephen? <sighs> Stephen. <laughs> now, Jack, this guy I told is just you all size. Drink with you for another night in a row. That's not why I'm ringing. Although I could do with one. Someone broke into my apartment. And I stole what? my rainy day fund. Have you called the police yet? No, I don't think so. Aren't you the anyway, police? no one contacted me. As for the police, uh, I'm calling right now, officer. <sighs> All right. Do you want me to head around? Look for any trace evidence? I, um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. No, I guess not. Uh, <sighs> honestly, <laughs> I don't have the strength to deal with it right now. I just want to lie down. Are you sure? Because it's no trouble at all. I think so. Uh, I'm sorry. <sighs> I just wanted to calm down a bit. I don't know. Uh, uh. That's probably some <laughs> stupid joke. Only money was stolen. Money? From Alice's box? Oh, fuck. Listen, I can come over. I have the key. I'll drop by, do what I need to do, and you go get some sleep. No, don't trouble yourself. Lately, I've been just so tired and distracted. I don't know. Maybe I forgot to close the apartment door on my way to work. If anything else is missing, I'll let you know and call the police. All right. Just make sure you close it tonight. If you see anything weird tomorrow, let me know. Okay. Whoever did this may be watching you. I don't think anyone is dumb enough to come back. <sighs> You're probably right. Take care, Jack. If you need anything, call me. I promise I will. Thanks, Stephen. Sorry to bother you again. I've just been all over the place lately. It's not a problem. Good night, Jack. Good night. Ah, yes. Press 2 to hang up. Right, so that's definitely shut down. Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't like that. That means someone's got the remote. What? Uh, I guess I should <laughs> clean this shit up. Be honest, I could leave it like this. I still don't understand why Alice liked this painting so much. There you go. Uh, I'm glad this didn't uh, break. Jack, why? What? 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 Oh, I think I'm just tired. Where's that coming from? Maybe I could barricade the door with this. I should pack this thing away. I have no interest in DIY at the moment. Hmm. It mm. seems like the burglar ah. wasn't looking for anything Oof. here. Actually, I'm not surprised. Oop. Now I'm sure I won't get caught up in these papers. Alice's family should really have some of these. That's enough for now. Jeez, oh, I'm exhausted. Bite I'll get eat. the rest in the morning. Uh, <laughs> mess. Now if only I could blame this on the burglars. Oh, there we go. Okay, we still got very ominous music going on. Mm. <coughs> Who's Red Pete or Red Dave or whatever? Huh? Oh. Don't like this. Nope. Downstairs, please. Hello? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch, okay. 
Well, that's not terrifying. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. We're good. We're outside in the daytime. That's good. <sighs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> I swear to God, if this guy doesn't stop sighing. Brought in today. Ugh. Hi, Mr. Ridley. Good morning, Mr. Ridley. No. Oh. He's not here yet? No, I'll do with Adam. Mr. Ridley. Good morning. Okay. I hope he... Oh, come on. He was too lazy to even wheel the gurney to the autopsy room. Oh, is it this? Mr. Ridley? I'm going to need my tape recorder for this. Oh, are we? Not using the uh, video camera anymore then? Autopsy dated November 22nd, oh, 1991. 7.32 p.m. Led by Dr. Jack Hanman. I begin by verifying the identity of the Jane Doe. It's most likely Harper Lloyd, age 35. Found in a well-owned house by her neighbors, Leonard and Dorothy Chelsea. Reported missing for a week. Firefighters found the body after the Chelsea family began complaining that their tap water tasted strange Ooh. and at one point had begun to smell and turn a dark color. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, but when you find out something like that, like, you know, there's the... There was that girl that died in the hotel and she was found in the water tank. And there was obviously all the residents and they said, oh, you shouldn't really drink hotel water, but they thought it was okay. So they were drinking the water and they were washing in it, even though it was like brown, which to me, I feel like it's one thing to like wash yourself and brush your teeth with brown water, but drinking it, it's like, like what's wrong with you? When you find out that you've been drinking basically like bodily fluids, God, like you just must be so violently ill afterwards. Oh. Okay. That could have been worse. Why is that eye missing? I carefully removed the victim's clothes so as not to damage the skin. The deceased <laughs> was fed one shoe was missing. I'm going to need the camera to document all possible suspicious yeah, marks. Yeah, it looks so, like puffy. Um... The skin of the deceased appears very delicate, smooth, and relaxed from being in the water for a long time. The whole body is extremely pale. There are bruises and hemorrhages on the neck. These usually occur due to increased inhalation when fighting to breathe underwater. Post-mortem markings are seen on the underside of the body. That is, on the back, thighs, and calves of the deceased. Okay. It's likely that the deceased was lying on her back when she was fished out. The weird stuff on the, the so-called washerwoman's skin on the feet. The deceased had indeed been in the oh, water and like when you it goes all wrinkly. I think that's what that is. The skin on the hands can be easily separated from the body. The separation takes the form of a glove. <laughs> there are some obvious scratches on the skin. Hmm. To the board. Right, we have general face, chest, feet. Uh, I think that's supposed to say arm, but it's kind of all been brushed out for some reason. Thigh. So, yeah. after the preliminary exam, it's time to take a closer look at this. Let's open you up. Today's date. The deceased was closed. Rigor mortis does not need to be checked. Based on the state of decay, you can be sure it has subsided. We see thick white foam in the mouth of the deceased, resulting from pulmonary edema. Foam is a characteristic in deaths due to drowning. Oh, is that what that is? It's not her tongue? Okay. There are obvious scratches on the skin, especially on the back and hands. These could be defensive wounds, evidence of some sort of altercation prior to death. The spots have a purplish blue-red hue, which is a typical sign of the death of the organism. I'm learning so no much. Obvious signs of struggle. It's disgusting. The skin on the hands would have easily peeled away from the flesh. Some of the fingers have already lost their nails. Ugh. Yep, pretty typical. 
Liver mortis are formed as a result of putrefaction of blood in the veins. But Due to the fact that the deceased was wearing shoes all the time, Ugh. her feet are in better condition than her hands. Nevertheless, we can still notice a clear, wavy skin and the so-called washerwoman's skin texture. I did not know that's what it was called, washerwoman's texture. Okay, that's probably enough to indicate feet. a direction for further examination. Uh, okay. Typical signs of drowning. In this drowning. case, the question is, Arms and maybe legs. it's just an abrasion, or maybe. Fortunately, the skin on the hands, di their distribution suggests liver mortis of a, a simple trip, loss of balance, and as a result, you end up in a deep hole with no way out. That's all for now. Before I begin now. the dissection, for I'll make sure the suggested identity is correct. The suitcase with the fingerprint oh. equipment should be around here somewhere. Suitcase? Fingerprint equipment? Ah, here we go. Oh, here it is. With decomposing bodies, the tissue of the pads of the Listen. fingers tends to shrink. To remove these shrinkages, if the body of the deceased is well preserved, Rush. fingerprinting is similar to that of a... The fingerprint sheet should always be checked. Slipping fingers, too much or too little ink, or inaccurate Checked. hand position can make fingerprints illegible. Glycerin is injected successively oh. between the nail and the skin of each finger. The substance then enters the fingertip, removing shrinkage and wrinkles. Oh. I see. Clever, clever, clever. Ooh. Now I take a brush. Only when the skin is taut and elastic can you use ink. Dust, 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 dust. Oh no! <laughs> it looked like it was getting black, so I was like, I, I guess I'm doing it. Okay, entire palm. I think there you go. it's enough. No. Oh. I'm getting fingerprint samples. You said entire palm. There, beautiful. In the case of drowning victims, you have to be extremely careful. The skin may fall off the hand like a glove when you take the print. Okay. I'll use the fax machine to add the print into the system. Thank you. Oh, fax Green machine. Button and. Boop. Has Ridley come in yet? <laughs> I miss him. Once the data uploads, I'll run the prints against the police database on the computer. Okay, okay. Great. The data is there. Click upload. <laughs> ah, these are the days. Now, go ah. to the database and find a matching print. Drag Expect all possible comparison hours of fun. Mm -hmm. One I more. love this clicky sounds. Mm, okay. Analyze. Let's check for matches. I could tell that wasn't a match. This is not okay, our Jane Doe. I think uh, that one looks familiar, so I I'm wish gonna... there was an easier way to do this. That one mm. looks similar, so I think this could be a match. One more. Analyze button. And Aha, we have told a result. You. Everyone has a story to tell, even if it's just a police record. So. Aha. Harper As Lloyd. Predicted, there we go. The deceased turned out to be Harper Lloyd. Print. That went smoothly. I'll print this out and attach Ooh, it to the Ooh, did I gain records. more donuts? I want the blue and pink one. That looks amazing. Great. Now I can go back to my inspection. Return to autopsy. Can I see if, if Mr. Ridley's here? I'm adding the name of the deceased. I'll start the internal examination by taking fluid from the victim's brain. A needle inserted oh. through the nose will do the trick. Okay, then. If the victim was alive when she fell into the well, she ah. must have swallowed water fighting for her life. And then diatoms, characteristics of pooled water like a well. In the meantime, I'll check the sample under the microscope. I'm sure microscope. that these algae traces will be found in the samples taken from the well where police found the body. Now I need to adjust the knobs properly. Okay. And place the diatom in the center of the slide. Okay. Diatoms are single-celled microscopic algae. The aperture still needs adjustment. Oh, I'm finally starting to see something here. Uh. Oh. I won't even notice an army of diatoms from this distance. Hmm. Great. 
This way I'll see if I'm dealing with a it's not a dirty look. Oh, it's I see, I see. Look. Man, perfect. No, no, it's not. This as expected. Ah. We find the aforementioned algae in the solution. Their upper part, epitheca, which overlaps the lower, hypotheca, is clearly visible. Right, okay. The presence of diatoms in the brain samples taken indicate that the deceased was certainly alive when she fell into the water right. and was possibly gotcha. conscious. That's not good. Oop, just gonna climb Since over you there. Since there were diatoms in the brain, it means that many more of them must have entered the body. Studies of the rest of the organs will most likely confirm this hypothesis. Okay. I can finally get to the practical part. Time to cut I you open. I must be extra careful because the skin of the deceased is very stretched. I wouldn't want an explosion here. Oh gosh, yes, please don't explode on me. You Ugh. can immediately see a very large swelling of the organs. In addition, all internal organs are very congested. It's easy to see that the ribs have been imprinted Why on the lungs. Why is everyone such so, harsh I'm going smokers? To start by drawing blood from the lungs for if diatoms were only present in the lungs, this would mean that the victim was placed in the well after death, and the perpetrator wanted to get rid of the corpse in this way. Now I remove the lungs and proceed to the taking the lungs in my hand. I feel that the tissues have lost their elasticity, which is the result of water emphysema. In addition, there is significant swelling of the organs, and as a result, we have a nice imprint of the ribs. The ah. emphysema itself, it's clear how far it's progressed, which is characteristic of drowning. Okay, okay. Corpses found in water are worth examining with a tomograph. Locate However, I can't count on such luxuries, so I must reach for a more archaic technology. A bucket and water. A bucket and water. Well, that doesn't look good. What's with the spooky sounds? What is it? Who? Who? Has anyone been here? Huh? Why are you freaking out so much? I hope no one <laughs> dipped a mop in it. It's best to go to the lab for this. He's like, ooh, ooh, has anyone been here? It's like, because what? The, 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 this has moved? Like, you do know Mr. Ridley also works here, right? It was probably him. I feel like he freaks out over the smallest things. Perform a drown test? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Okie dokie then. And while I'm in there, maybe take my pill. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Ridley? <laughs> The water should be at room temperature. Mm. That's enough. Jesus. To test for this, up so far. I have to place the lungs in a container of water. Okay. This checks if there is air in the lungs. And speaking of lungs, everything is ready to bring them here. Oh, okay, right. <clears throat> of course, such a study isn't without flaws. Air may have entered a newborn's airways during resuscitation attempts. Gases released during decomposition could also- In this case, however, it's about something else. Namely, the amount of fluid in the lungs. Okay. To test for this, I have to place the lungs in a container of water and wait to see if they fall or if they will float on the surface. Will it float or sink? Oh, they... Sunk. Okay. It's enlarged. Ooh. Probably full of putrid gases. Big meat duck. Uh, more diatoms. Analysis mm -hmm. indicates the same origin. Blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. There's little left to do. Not interesting. Looks like there's something stuck in the trachea. I'm moving to the board for further inspection. Oh god. Here we go. What is it? Inside, I find a wedding ring based on the size. I can say that it's a woman's wedding ring, quite standard from the outside. There's an engraving inside. What? Ah, okay. The fuck? 
But this is my ring. Alice's ring. But, but how did it... How did it... But this should be at home. I have it. Oh. I have... I, at home. It's... I... I... I have to oh. check this out. Where are my meds? Where the fuck are my meds? Jesus Christ! Hope these all make it go away. Interesting. So he took the ring. I, I have to check and the apartment. It's murdered. It can't be. Jesus Christ! Mr. Ridley! What's all the ruckus? I need to. I need to go home. Immediately. What? Now? I have to. I have to. Have you seen anyone here this morning? Anybody suspicious? Oh, there was no one. Dorothy was, but only for a moment, then she left. What's wrong with you, Hammond? Okay, okay. Thanks. What about the corpse? I'll come back, I promise. God damn it, Ridley! This... This can't be real. Where is it? Where is it? Where? Ugh. Oh no, I'm stuck. <laughs> I got myself stuck. Please, please, please be there. It can't be your wedding ring. It's, oh, it's not here. It's, it's not here. It's not. I, I need to go. Steven! Steven! This is sick. Fuck! Come on, Steven. Pick up the fucking phone! What's up, man? They took the ring! What? What? What ring? What are you talking about? They took the wedding ring. Alice's wedding ring! One sec. You mean burglary? You said nothing was missing. Yes, yes, I know! I know that! I, I don't know. I, I was jittery. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't notice. I don't know, but <laughs> that, that's not the worst of it. Calm down, Jack. Breathe. What happened? I found it in the trachea of the deceased I was working on. Do you understand? I pulled it out of a dead woman's trachea. What? I don't. I don't know what's going on. Oh wait, it's all gone now. I think Red Pete wants revenge. He's playing with me. Oh, I knew it. I knew it from the beginning this was going to happen. I didn't make it up! Jack, listen to me. Try to calm down. Don't leave the apartment. I'll be with you right away, okay? I'm on my way. What sane person would do something like that? How? And when? When the fuck? Fucking Ridley lets in whoever he likes as usual. <laughs> hey, don't blame Ridley. What are you saying? Steve. Steven, don't leave me, man. Come on. Fuck. Wait, one oh, minute. Oh, God, what now? Okay, just calm, calm, calm down. Just calm down. Jesus. Jesus. Uh, what's I, 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 going I, 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 on? Invisible whiskey. Just, 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 just one sip more. Yep. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Just, just, just one sip more. Okay. Oh.